Hey guys, uh, this is Paul. Um, I am just stirring uh, this melted soap here, so. And I wanted to show you guys my new soap spoon, so. Neat. I'm adding some honey here. And this is organic honey. And here I am going to be doing a um, charcoal, activated charcoal soap, um, and it's going to be an acne uh, facial soap. at Nature's Garden and um, this is I got three three of the canisters so I should have plenty for um, quite some time um, it mixed really well I really loved how um, the soap turned out and I'm showing uh, mixing it right now it did create a lot of bubbles and I had to keep spraying it with the um, rubbing alcohol um, several times, but all in all, I think the soap came out really great. Um, hopefully, or I will be showing a uh, second video um, cutting all these different soaps here, so keep watching and enjoy. And right now I'm getting ready to pour the um, charcoal soap. Um, you see in the back I have two candles. They are curing. It's a fresh outdoors and a patchouli so, uh, candle. So just a little side note. Um, and here's the second, second one. Um, all right, keep watching. Hey guys, um, this uh, olive oil uh, clear glycerin soap, this was pretty easy to make. I just added a teaspoon of olive oil to um, each pound, um, so it's two teaspoons for two pounds. Um, it was really easy to make and it didn't take long at all. Um, so if anybody's a first timer, this might be something uh, nice to try.
and uh, here I am just uh, adding my ingredients for my uh, goat's milk base that I use. I use a white base and then I add in uh, goat's milk and shea butter and glycerin and honey and I don't know if you see me doing all those things here um, but this particular soap that I'm doing right now is a sea clay soap so in just a minute you're gonna see me um, mixing in the sea clay and I show that and um, the little hand mixer does create lots of bubbles so you have to stop and spray your alcohol and keep your bubbles down so uh, keep watching Right here, um, I'm pouring only a small amount into my main mixture, and that's because I uh, took a portion of the soap and mixed in the sea clay and then mixed it into the um, main bulk of the soap base. So. Hey, uh, this is uh, the rosehip powder, and I didn't think that you guys wanted to see me mixing another uh, batch of base, so I only showed that the first time, but this is my rosehip powder, and it's orange right now, and I thought it was going to be um, more of a rosy color, and it actually does turn that way um, or it did for me so when I do the cutting video you guys will see that um, the rose hips turn a nice like reddish rosy color so keep watching Hey guys, here is uh, the Russell clay that um, I did, and I think this is the Russell clay here that I'm pouring. I I guess I must not have filmed the uh, rose hip uh, soap and me pouring that into the mold, but you guys know that you don't need to see all that, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm just spraying it with alcohol and. As you can see, I've done six, and I'm showing here all of mine. So guys, thank you for watching so much every single time, and I will talk to you soon.